Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we have prepared another feature demonstration for you, uh, a feature containing our new uh, chart engine from our uh, 4.0 update from Apex Charts. And that feature is creating a synchronized charts. So basically now uh, this would make the 20th chart from Apex Charts and will allow you to have multiple charts that basically uh, behave in a synchronized manner. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay, um, you guys can take a look at the charts that we're going to show you today in our documentation under charts, Apex charts. This is all the way on the bottom. And as you can see here, by default, this chart type is not available, but with small extensions with WP data charts callbacks, it is possible. In short, you're using uh, one common X axis, which is a string column right here and you're combining it with uh, different integer or float columns to create different charts. So we have four charts that will behave synchronized like you can see in the documentation over here. So when we go to WP data charts, let me show you just one wizard. Uh, we have four charts that are named sync charts one, two, three, and four. So this one would be a line chart from Apex charts. So when we go to the next step, we select the table as a data source and we select this common X axis and the first result, which is an integer. So on the next step, we've narrowed the chart. So it's six, 160 pixels high. And basically we've increased the marker size, which is this thing right here. So it's visible under series. We defined that it's a, line chart with this color axis uh, we simply increase the stroke width and the tick amount and title is hidden uh, tooltip is shown legend is hidden and toolbar is hidden this is the same for all four charts the only difference is that we're using a line chart a spline chart an area chart and a spline area chart so when you're creating the page you have to include this these callbacks. So again, they are shown in here, so you can just simply copy them, but you need to uh, take care about these IDs. So these IDs are basically chart IDs, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Uh, another thing is that for each callback, we need a unique ID, which is uh, line one, line two, area one, area two, and they need to be in the same group, which is in this case sync. So they have to, they need to have the ID and they need to be in the same group. So when we take a look at this page in the front end, you can actually see the same charts that you see in our documentation. So this is it. When you hover over them, you see the results for each chart listed below. Um, since these are all access data. You can see the date here. You can see the name right here. So you don't actually need this. So in order to remove this and make it look a little bit better, you can add these. We will add this to the video description. You can add this to the callbacks under each actual callback. So I already did that here. So here it is comma. And then this is added. So let me just copy that and replace it in here and update the page. Now, when, when we refresh the page, we can see that it actually changed to this much more appealing look. And basically this is it. This is how you're creating the 20th apex chart type. Well, that's great. It looks to me like you guys can use this chart for any type of data comparison or something like that, where you need multiple uh, sources of information. Uh, and thank you, Alexander. You're and welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions on which Apex chart you would like to see us create or any other uh, questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.